A lot of people are broke, but they have some free time. They want to learn electronics. What they do have is time and they have curiosity. And hey, they've got the internet so they can look up as to what things are. Add into that junk, old cathode ray tube TV sets, video camera recorders that have an actual tape that used to stick in, telephones with a rotary dial. Cannibalizing and scavenging is an incredibly useful skill. It allows you to take a look and parse between trash and obtaining the stuff that you need to do whatever you want to do. It's all the same bits of stuff that go into a TV, also go into the VCR, same things used in different ways. Take apart a couple of camcorders and a rotary phone, and then suddenly you've got full suites of parts. You can start making those projects that you see online without spending a penny. It's a great way to learn not just what the normal thing looks like, not just a resistor with two wires and bands of color, but you also find the outliers. And you get to see things that you wouldn't see if you were just starting off with DIY projects. What you're getting is an insight into the history of consumer electronics. When you start methodically taking all the parts out, you get to see all the different examples of what parts are like, get an idea of like, oh, I guess this is over here because of this, et cetera, et cetera. Come up with your own theories about things. You learn to become immune to the scent of solder melting and occasional hair and skin burning. I can take a TV and I can build a stun gun. I can take video camera and hopefully I can make binoculars out of the optics. You can backdial the technology. You can downgrade the whole thing and make a crystal radio like I did. You get to learn all about technology by ripping it to shreds.